Since my last video, I've had more than a few people ask me to do a tutorial on how to add a custom carrier logo image to an MIUI theme. To start off, you must be running the ROM MIUI version 1916 or higher, as well as have the extended settings mod that is compatible with the version number you're running. If you're not familiar with how to get your phone there, please see my step-by-step -step tutorial linked in the description and on the screen. My advice is to watch this video fully before attempting to do this to make sure it's something you want to mess with. Take your phone and find the MIUI control app and open it. Tap Carrier Options and turn on Display Carrier Logo. If everything is working properly, you should see a Google logo in the place of your carrier. Now go to your theme manager and find one you like. In this case, we'll use the Android 3 theme. You can apply it now to get an idea of what type of logo you want to put there. Now go to your PC and make sure you have a clean area to work with. You'll need an empty folder, which you can rename as Stuff to be Zipped for illustration purposes. You'll also need whatever image file you want to replace the carrier logo. It can be any image you want, in this case a custom Rage logo. The image file will need to be named carrier underscore logo. It also needs to be in PNG format. If you're not familiar with this format, most image editing programs have the option to save files to this format, even your basic paint program. The image file will need to be sized appropriately as well. I use the dimensions of 306 pixels for width and 53 pixels for the height. You can play around with the dimensions if this is too big for your taste. Now plug your phone into your PC with the USB cable. Pull down the notification bar and tap on USB connection. Make sure you have memory card access selected and hit OK. On your PC, close the annoying Verizon page and open up your phone drive. Open the MIUI folder, then open up the theme folder. Find the theme that you'll be using and drag it to your desktop, then close the folder. Right click on the theme and select Rename. Change the .mtz to .zip. Hit Enter and then select Yes. Open up the theme and find com.android.systemui and drag it to your desktop. Close the folder. Now right click on it and select Rename. Add .zip to it. Hit Enter and then select Yes. Open it up. Open up Res, then Drawable HDPI. Drag the custom carrier logo into this folder. Now here's the part that may get confusing. We need to zip these files up and make them into the same format that we found them. Hit the back tab until we get to the root of this folder. Select all of the files and move them into the empty folder that we named Stuff to be Zipped. Close the folder that we have open. When it's done, we can go ahead and delete the system UI folder just to keep us from getting confused. Now open up the Stuff to be Zip folder. Select the files in there and right click on them. Choose Add to Archive. Select Zip as the format and then make the archive name com.android.systemui. Click OK. Now drag the new system UI file that we just made into the original theme zip on the desktop. Choose Copy and Replace. If you don't see this option, you likely named the file wrong and need to fix it before continuing. Now we need the Stuff to be Zip folder empty, so select everything in it and delete it all. We're going to zip the files in the theme back to the original format that we found it. Open up the theme folder, select all the files, and drag them into the Stuff to be Zipped folder. Close the theme folder. Now select everything that we just moved into the Stuff to be Zipped folder and right click on them. Select Add to Archive. Select Zip as the format and then rename the archive to whatever the theme is called, but make sure you put .mtz on the end of it. If the theme is titled in Chinese, just rename it to whatever you want. Click OK. Find the MTZ file that we just made and drag it to your desktop and close the folder. This is the new theme file that will replace the old one on your phone. Open up your phone drive and navigate to the MIUI folder, then the theme folder. Drag your new theme file into this folder. If you have it named the same as your old theme, click on Copy and Replace. If you named it something different than the original name, I suggest you delete the old theme or you'll have two of them in your theme manager even though we named the new file something different. Now back up until you see your phone drive and right click on it. Choose Eject so we can safely unplug the phone. 
Wait a minute or two before messing with your phone so that it can mount the SD card properly. Open up Theme Manager and find the theme that we just modified. Hit Apply. When it's done, you should have your new custom carrier logo. You can hit me up on Twitter at RageXMods if you have questions or you want to get updates on my videos. If this video helped you, make sure you subscribe so you can check out more step-by-step -step tutorials and ROM reviews.